Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Volans, and welcome to a session playthrough for Super Metroid. So the actual reason that I am recording Super Metroid for a session playthrough is because I need footage for Super Metroid, or I need footage of Super Metroid for my Metroid Prime retrospective that I have coming out in the near distant future. And so, I thought that I'd do a little bit of Super Metroid for you guys, just to keep things spiced up a little bit. Uh, this is just a save file that I played a while back, as you can tell, I only had 37 minutes on it, so it's not going to play this game through very far. I beat the first boss, that was basically all I did. Controller setting? Shoot. Jump. Dash. Item select, let's go. Oh, uh, I want something like quick. We'll go. Can I not do that one? Can I do this? What about this? I'll do that. Item cancel. Yeah, you can make that R. Angle up. Whoops. What? What? No. Let's angle up. Is that like. Oh, I understand that. Okay, item cancel. Yeah, you can make that select and then go down. Okay. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of a session playthrough with this. Excuse the German subtitles. I don't know why they're in here. But, I first battled the Metroids on Planet Zebus. It was there that I fought, or that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack the galactic civilization. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them except for a larva, which after hatching followed me like a confused child. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Federation State Galactic Research Station, I just assumed it was Federation, as Sarah's, so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. Aww. Scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Sorry if I'm sniffling a little bit. And sorry if I don't sound super excited either. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt, but I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sarah's station was under attack. So yeah, I decided I'd do a session playthrough for, of this. I've briefly played this game before. Um, furthest I've ever gotten was like the first boss. That was it. But I mean, I do have, you know, general experience with this game. And not to mention I've played uh, Metroid Fusion all the way through. And I've gotten... I think a little under halfway through Metroid Zero Mission, which I have not completed yet. I have a session playthrough of that is currently up on my channel, if you guys want to go check that out. But I really needed to collect some uh, footage of Super Metroid, because I reference it a hell of a lot in my uh, script for uh, my Metroid Prime retrospective review. And so, 
I thought that, you know, instead of taking footage from other people, I might as well use my own footage. Wow, that kind of hurt. Good news is you can't actually beat this guy, so... There's no point of... Really doing anything. But... Just fighting for the kicks and giggles, I suppose. Alright, now we gotta evacuate. Self-destruct sequence activated. Evacuate colony immediately. I had troubles with this the first time that I had ever played Super Metroid. Uh, I almost didn't get out of the colony before it exploded because I kept running into the steam that comes out of those little, like, platforms. And, like, near, like, every time I'd get knocked off, so I, I almost died. And had to restart the tutorial section of all things. Very short tutorial section. Which is fairly nice, honestly, because, I don't know, I feel like elongated tutorial sections are unbelievably ridiculous. Take Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, for example. The freaking... Um tutorial section in that game was just ridiculously long. I mean, I think when I did my uh, playthrough series of it, or I guess technically I'm still doing it, but... And by the way, if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. It's on my channel as well. Um, Like, the tutorial section took up at least, like, three episodes, I think. Because, at least in my opinion, the tutorial section lasts up until... And Twilight Princess lasts up until... I guess I could just do that. Lasts up until... Um... When... I'm trying to think when I would believe that it ends. Oh, probably when you, uh have to jump into the twilight in your like in Hyrule Castle for the first time. I feel like that's when at least in my opinion when the tutorial section ends. Maybe that's just I don't know. But that just that's just unbearably long. Wind Waker did it pretty quickly. Which I respect. Um let me see. Oh, what am I thinking? Um, Breath of the Wild probably did the best that they could with it. And I feel like their efforts paid off. Um, because, like, if the tutorial section is fun, like it should be, I'm surprised how much of this I know, even though I've only played this game for like a half an hour. 
Um, I feel like as long as you make the tutorial section somewhat tolerable and fun, I feel like what you do can be forgiven. Because, like, in the Great Plateau for Breath of the Wild, they did it pretty quickly. And I feel like that benefited them. Trust me, they didn't do it pretty quickly. It's actually quite long. You could do it relatively quickly, but, like, the tutorial section is, like, fun and enjoyable in, like, Theoretically, the whole plateau is the tutorial section, but it doesn't feel like it because you could fully explore and run around the Great Plateau just however you want and do whatever you want. Like, I would completely, like, I just recently picked Breath of the Wild back up after having not played it for, like, a solid year. And, um... I was just, like, surprised how quickly, you know, I got used to the controls, but, like, how much of it could still be considered the tutorial section. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I was just, like, surprised to see, see like, how much of the game could still be considered tutorial section. Like, the entire Great Plateau is basically the uh, tutorial section, even though, at least for me, by the time that I had gotten over to, oops, I did not mean to jump, at least for me, by the time that I, like, unlocked the first uh, Sheikah Tower, is that what they're called? I don't know, I think so, but like, I had already pretty much gotten used to the controls again since I haven't played it in, like, a year. And, like, the rest of the Great Plateau is basically just me messing around and, like, killing enemies and, um, in any weird way that I could. Oh, that's right, you guys jump. In any, like, weird way that I could and, like, just, um, ow, that got hurt. I got Discord notifications, that's annoying. I might have to put myself on Do Not Disturb. Um. Killing enemies in weird ways, like sneaky ways, that's my favorite way of doing it. It's just like. Killing enemies in sneaky ways. Instead of just full on assault, I like to, like. Go up to them quietly and just slaughter them all slowly. I don't know, I find that fun. Personally, that's my favorite way of taking care of enemies. In enemy camps. It's just the element of surprise. Um, but like, I don't know, by the time that I had finally left the Great Plateau, like, I was like, oh, that's right, this is all part of the tutorial section, technically even though I already mastered it all and it made sense to me and just stuff like that, you know. That's why I'm glad that games like Metro or Super Metroid and to an extent Metroid Prime um, made quick easy work of the tutorial section and they just plowed right through it and they're like, alright, we're done. Whereas, like, Twilight Princess dragged it on. Or Breath of the Wild technically dragged it on as well. But at least they made it fun. And if you already understood the controls, you could have fun while, you know, completing the technical tutorial section, you know. That's another example of a game that drags on the tutorial section. Skyward Sword. Legend of Zelda is notorious for it. At least the recent ones. Um. What other games? I'm 
trying to think, actually. Oh, back crap. Can I kill you with... No, okay, I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, I'm gonna kill some blocks, guys. And this is my least favorite thing of the, I, not the tutorial section, but the easy section. Not this room, the next room. You'll understand why. Oh, come on. Ouch. It's my least favorite part of the bikini section of this game. How does that sound? Does that sound better? Is what's in this next room. Ready for this? This is no ordinary chozo, this is a chorizo. What the diff what's the difference? Well, a chozo just holds an item that you can just pick up and walk away. This is a chorizo. Yeah. You gotta fight these guys now. And I suck at fighting in this game. Oh, and I'm already out of missiles. Oh, I can't stand, like, their invisibility frames in these games. It's just, yeah, let's just make the character go invisible. I lose track of the player so easily. Oh, you can hit those things to get missiles and stuff? Oh. Wish I had known that earlier. I'm gonna die. Ah, you sneaky son of a gun. I'm gonna die. Maybe. Or not. Okay, please don't kill me. Oh, thank god. Okay. That makes life easier. Yes, please give me that health. I need that. Okay, let me respond to this little Discord thing real quick. At least look at what it is. Okay, never mind. I can just ignore it then. Alright. Here, thank you guys. Oops, sorry about that. I was scratching my cheek and I accidentally slammed my microphone. That's the nice thing about the dash function in this game is that you can just run right past enemies. You don't even have to worry about fighting them unless you need to or want to. Whereas, like, for me, I don't need to, so... Actually, can I just do this? I don't know, because there's going to be enemies on the floor, isn't there? Oh, some. Alright, well, at least we got an energy tank now. Okay. So I guess, even though I'm recording this footage for... Oh, I gotta missile these guys. My retrospective, I guess I can talk a little bit about what I think of the game so far. For somebody who has played... Uh, Metroid Zero Mission about halfway through. And Super Metroid, or me, Metroid Fusion all the way through. So far, honestly, I have extremely high opinions of this game, which... 
happen. No doubt it. No doubt it's, you know, probably the most popular, best-selling. I can't kill that guy. Oh God! I guess I'm not supposed to be shooting that. Ouch! Leave me alone, please. Okay. Um, so far, uh, pretty high opinions of this game, I'd say. I mean, for good reason, it's probably the most popular game in, in the Metroid franchise. It's everything you'd love about a Metroid game. It's everything fans appreciate. Oh crap. It's everything, everything fans appreciated about the original Metroid. Oh god. I did not mean to do that. It's everything. Oh, come on. I want to fall all the way down here. Are you serious? <sighs> okay. Oh, I need power bomb for that. Great. Okay. It's everything fans appreciated about the first Metroid game. Reimagined. Just like. Um, Metroid Return of Samus was the, uh, ugh, come on, everything fans liked about the first Metroid 2 game, oh my god, I can't, but with so much more, oh my god, I suck at platforming in this game, apparently. I guess I didn't even need to get up here. I think it sucks though, is that you only have 10 missiles in this game at the moment. At least I do. There might be another missile expansion lying around I just missed. But, um. It opens, or it takes 5 missiles to open up a door. Like a locked door. Which kinda sucks. How did I not take damage? I think in Metroid Fusion? Is that an zero mission? It only takes... One or three missiles to open up a door. Which, in my opinion, is just... So much better. Five is a little ridiculous, in my opinion. Granted, missiles are... Pretty. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but there's a lot of them. So, there's a lot of ways to just regain your missiles back. And this is a good way, I remember, to uh, farm health and missiles. Just sit here and kill these guys as they come out of their little home. It's like spawn camping. Technically, it is spawn camping. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, um... Let me think here. How did I do this one again? Ouch. Come on. for that door to open or something. Oh, they just close as you... Oh, I know what I probably gotta do. At least now I have 15 missiles. Alright, let me come back in this room and try this little thing again. Oh, 
let's see. I gotta go down. Not through that door. Ouch. Uh, through this door. Any one of these, technically. Let me check my map, actually. Which way do I gotta go? I don't know. I don't think there's any particular direction I have to go. Why are the lights flickering? Oh, uh, that's right. I forgot about this room. Just whatever you do, don't kill these little guys. What's this? Missile recharge? Yeah, that's what I thought. That wasn't exactly worth it. One thing, ow, that didn't help. One thing that I like about Metroid F or Super Metroid, I can tell right off the bat, is that platforming, ah oh crap, is quite a bit easier in this game. Because Samus is a lot more floaty than in Sh Super Metroid, or not Super Metroid, um, Metroid Fusion and Zero Mission. She floats a lot more in air. Which is really nice. It's a lot better than Fusion Zero Mission. I don't know if that was like a design choice when it came to Fusion and Zero Mission. Just kind of like make her a little less floaty. I mean, it makes more sense that she's less floaty, but I kind of don't like it. Oh, come on. Man, I'm wasting my missiles. Okay, I can get down here. Oh no, I need something else for that. Oh god. Can I? Well then how in the world? Ouch. That wasn't nice. Okay, and then... Let me see. I think... I'm not gonna say it. Gonna camp you for ah missiles and health, please. This is some slow health gen. Oh, there we go. There's a big one. One more, and then I get a big one, of course. Okay. Let's see. Can I go up? Or am I gonna have to go down? One thing that I definitely like about Zero Mission and Fusion more than Super Metroid is that, um, you actually have to hit the, um, for me it's the Y button on an Xbox controller in order to switch over to the missiles. Um, for everybody else who was playing this on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, they had to hit the select button, I believe it was, just to select the missiles. Whereas in, like, Metroid Fusion, oh, hello. Ow. Or Zero Mission, you could just hold one of the buttons, which I always did the R button, which I think is what it was on the Game Boy, too. The heck are you? Alright, that's not. It. 
Oh, here's the boss room. Okay. So here's the fun, fun, fun boss that we get to fight. I don't know what this guy's name is. And I honestly can't say that I like the theme. The point, or how to do this, is basically you just sit in the corner as a morph ball. And you wait until this boss opens up his mouth. And you shoot a missile in. Hope he doesn't hit you, or like open up when he's like right above your head like he just did. You shoot a missile in there, and then he speeds up eventually. You just keep doing it. It's a little bit of a dull boss fight, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I heard they get much, much worse as the game progresses. Worse in the way of, like, extreme difficulty. Oh, crap, I did not mean to do that. One thing you might want to do is shoot these little guys to pick up missile expansions and crap as you go along. So that you can regain health and whatever they might drop. Ah, crap, that was a mistake. Please don't open up on top of me, thank you. Speeding up yet? No. Now you're speeding up. Crap, I missed. Probably could have shot again, but... Oh, can't shoot twice. Okay. Good to know. Opens up right in front of you. Oh, and I'm not going to be able to do that. Great. Okay. I need health. I don't need missiles. That works, I guess. Oh, he hit me again. Oh my god, leave me alone. I'm so low health. Please leave me be. Yeah, I'm not going for that one. Oh god, 15 health. This might be the end of Samus. Oh, stop hitting me. Oh, thank god. Three health. I was gonna die. Alright. Why is the music still playing? Nothing? That one? Uh, that's good enough. Actually, I need some missiles. Alright, well, yeah, I need more. Alright, sweet. What's this, a Mario Warp Pipe? There we go. What's this? Super Missile, sweet. Alright. So now I can select Super Missile if I ever want to use the Super Missile. Just gotta 
hit the Y button or select button if you're playing on the SNES twice and I can surf through these. Not a huge fan of that personally. But whatever way Super Metroid or not God, I'm gonna keep calling it Super Metroid. Um whatever Metroid Fusion and Metroid Zero Mission did to improve that, I completely agree with it. Oops, that was a mistake. At least I only have to use one of you. Okay. Super missile? Wonderful. No, I I'm perfectly okay with using another super missile. Okay, now where do I go? Probably want to explore this room that I've never been in, apparently. Ouch! I shot you! Anyway, I can shoot faster with this thing. It's pretty slow. That is not a door I can open. No, okay. can't do anything above me here because I can't grapple on or not grapple on I can't like hold on to the ledge which means that I need to drop through here yeah I need this like grapple beam or whatever I, eh, I know I already been to the, all right I, never mind I just gotta go back down. Ignore me completely. This is like a. Uh, oh, there it is. Right in front of my face. Okay. I don't think I wanted to do that. So this is about as far as I got in this game. I didn't really get any further. Oh god, what? What are you? Ow! Alright, I don't think I can get up there. Not that I'd want to, I don't think. Alright, that's a nine. Yeah, it's a, or, or it's a yellow door I can't really get into. Can you, like, die in a hole, please? This looks like it could be something. No? Alright, no. There's a lot of, like, secrets in walls. That's 2D Metroid in a nutshell. There's always something in every wall, but a lot of these walls, I don't know. Considering I've never completed this game before. Ouch. Did you knock it off? I was never really a huge fan of 2D Metroid in general. For the longest time, until I played Fusion. And I was like, okay, this is actually kind of fun. Ah, I did not mean to use the super missile there. Hello, what are you? I don't know what you were, but you're gone now, so. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, oh oh jeez. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna rush through this. Super Samus style. There we go. 
And now, super missile the door, and we go through. Uh oh. Oh. I think we're in. Brinstar now. Brinstar Depths, anyway. One of my favorite themes from this game. Can't get up there. Just so that's cl I swear to god, these guys. Oh, that's weird. Can I not? Ugh. I don't think there's anything I can even do here. Except for get killed by these freaking torps. Is there anything over there? That looks suspicious. Probably not. Alright, so I don't think I can do anything there. So I guess I just gotta go back the way I came. Can I just... Yeah, I'll just do this. Make things easier. Okay, so I can't go that way officially. Which... Uh-oh. Uh oh, whoa, I, whoa. I did not mean to shoot two missiles there. Alright, hold on. I gotta kill these guys. Then I gotta do some investigating. Come on. Would you stop? Thank you. Okay. Because I can't open this thing up anymore. <sighs> There's nothing that it appears I can do in this room. plant dude maybe there is something I gotta do in this room over here print start depths um but like what cuz I can't jump up any further you are really flipping annoying I hate these things That just looks suspicious. Oh. Here we are. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I don't know what these things are, but... I guess let's go through the super missile door first. For what is this, an energy restoration? Yep, okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, hello. What are you? You have a name. Can I kill you? Shout a super missile. Whoa. Okay, I can't land on those things. And I keep getting killed by them. Or hurt by them, because I'm stupid. Don't know how to pilot a armored woman. Uh, oh. Why? Could I? I don't know, I just felt like I couldn't jump that high before. I was like, whoa, what is this? This is trippy. Nothing there? Okay, so I guess I just gotta keep going. Alright. I'm so tempted to fall in that hole. <laughs> Come on, Samus. Oh. I know these secrets with these little things. Maybe not. There's always, like, a way you can bomb these things, but I think you need, like, a power bomb? Because super missile 
doesn't do anything, neither does a missile, okay. Probably for later. I just gotta, oh, oh, where's this send me? To Meridian? Oh no, down to Norfair. Okay, I guess might as well take it. Basically just going wherever I think I should go at this point. Creepy music. I didn't even go in the blue door way back there. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, oh. That's cool. Oh, hello. I see you up there. Uh, let's see. What is there to destroy? Anything? I feel like it's gotta do something with up here. Maybe? So just start bombing everything. Hmm. Gotta think here, Volans. Gotta think. I feel like it has something to do with this dude up here. Like, I gotta find a way up there, but where? Hmm. It's never simple. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Um, hmm. Can I just like try smizzling this maybe? Does that give me any clue? Why did that move? Uh, I don't know what to do. I feel like it's just blatantly obvious. I'm just dismissing it right now. Maybe if I just bomb the floor like crazy, something will happen. Or not. Okay. Hmm. Looks like I can power bomb or am I not supposed to be here now? I'll try one last thing. No? Alright. Maybe I'm just not supposed to be here right now? I guess just leave. I don't know what I need to do. I'll go through this other door. Oh god, hot. Hot, that's hot. Stay out of that room. Remind me. Never to go in that door again. Oh, 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 jeez. Okay. I believe that was the yellow door. Yes, it was. Okay. Okay, let's go down first. Because going down continually seems to do things for me. Not this time. I feel like if I go right in this door above me, I'm gonna burn to death again. Ouch. Because I feel like anything over to the right is just burning death. Oh, no, I... 
This is apparently a safe station, so... Burning hot lava? No, okay. Just one really... Oh, hello. Can you get off of me, please? Thank you. Okay. It appears as though I need... What I assume is Shine Spark. 99.9% per, 99 .9 sure that that's what that is. And I lost a lot of health. Can I, like, get this back? With Save Station? Or is that just a Metroid Prime? That's just a Metroid Prime. Great, okay. Wonderful to know. I guess holding down the attack button does more for me than just smashing it a bunch. Good energy tank. Does this fully restore my crap? Yes, it does. Okay, sweet. Uh, am I locked in? Or is that just me? Oh, I might actually be locked in. Yeah, I am. That's disturbing. Can't go that way. Oh, Jesus. Can't get up there. Good to know. Okay. Uh oh. I don't like the sound of it. Or I don't like this very much. I need to learn how to double jump in this game. Or morph ball double jump in this game. it a bunch of times. Hope I get lucky. It usually works pretty well. No? Let me just can I answer like another oh pfft. Alright. High jump boots. Okay. Not exactly what I was expecting. Please tell me you're not a Teresa. Thank you, you're not okay. Oh that's nice. Okay, so I guess I can go up here now. That's nice. I can get this missile expansion too. It's about time for another missile expansion. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. What am I supposed to do here then? Did you just come out of the wall? Right here? No? Oh, you came from it. Oh, okay, so how do I get... Hmm. <laughs> because I can't... Uh, how do I... Get out of here, then? Hmm. Cause this door is still broken. And as far as I'm aware, there's no bombable walls right here. Um. Hmm. Do I have to kill this guy by chance, maybe? Come here, come here. Oh, God damn it. Super missile. Is that a hint? Maybe? Oh. I, I guess I just had to kill him. Okay. So, can I go down yet? No, because I 
still very vulnerable to the heat. Okay. Um. Still can't do anything with this. Can't do anything there because of the heat again. Alright, you guys are getting annoyed. I guess I'm gonna have to start killing you. I guess I'm just expected to go out of here. Nothing left for me to do here. Okay. I guess maybe I can. Access that region I couldn't reach before. I guess. Oh, hello. Uh, rip. Oh, come on. There we go. Wasted way more super missiles on you than I probably should have. Alright, now I can access this up here. Oh, wait, I could do this before. Oh, gosh dang it, I did not mean to do that. So where was that high area that I couldn't access before? I need to recharge my energy real quick. Um. It's not like I have an ice beam so I can freeze you guys. So how am I supposed to get out of here? I can't jump that high. Um. So there was technically a room that I didn't go to. Maybe that's where I gotta go? Hang that. What the heck? Apparently I can't jump up there. Is it really hard for Samus to jump through some water? Oh, it's up on top. There. I looked down at my phone for two seconds. Come on, let me jump out of here, please. Quit knocking me in. <sighs> oh my god. Alright, so I guess this is like up here. Oh, through that door, probably. So then how... Oh. I guess I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point. Because I can't do anything here. Which I thought I could. Apparently not. Why does it look like I can just shoot? Oh, oh, oh! Because I can, but I need super missiles. Okay, I guess I gotta go back in here and get some super missiles from these guys before I... Okay. That's the thing about the Metroid. It's not... 
There's a lot that doesn't meet the eye. You gotta, like, look. More than you would expect, apparently. Super missile? Oh, sweet. Alright. I know there's one more of you in here. Oh, no, there's not. Oh, god. Nearly avoided. Oh, god, you actually grabbed me, you dick. Not me. Come on. Just like decrease my opacity or something, like sixty percent or something, so I can at least still see where my where I am. Okay. Super missile. Bam. Oh, whoops. All right, there we go. Oh, that's right. Uh huh. I know what I gotta do. I think. I don't know. I'm mistaken. Um. With all these locked doors, or like not locked doors, but shut off doors. Oh, hello. Oh, I forgot about you guys. You guys are still a bunch of freaking jerks. Please go away. Thank you. I'm so low on energy. That looks. Yep, that's what I thought. I don't like that sound. Uh oh, whoa. 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 What are these? Ouch. I'm freaking getting my freaking butt kicked. Oh, it's a mini crate. What the? I get a bunch of super missiles, but no missiles? Please tell me this crate is not on the other side of this wall. Because I need freaking energy. Bad. I don't like that sound. I guess I'm just gonna have to sit here and refill my energy. Very long and grueling process of gaining all my energy. Because I think I had to fight Kraid and I really don't want to fight him. With this low energy. Come on, I need big energy, thank you. Not these tiny things. Almost there. Kind of curious if there's a room above me. It looks like there might be. 99, but I need missiles. There we go. Alright. Oh, I'm not even done yet. Missiles, please. There we are. So, oh, wait, one more. There we go. Alright. Okay, it's over here. Oh, oh my god, kill me, please. <sighs> I could have just went up here the whole time, are you serious? I knew, I, I was like, I should probably check up there before I just sit here and spam these guys. It's like there's probably like a refill station above me. 
I'm sorry about that. Should have thought a little bit more ahead. What the heck is. Oh. That is disturbing. Ow. Alright, and this is an eye door. They might not work similarly. Oh, come on! I did not mean to do that. God damn it. Alright, I guess let's fight Kraid. If it even is Kraid. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Of course. Of course. Alright. Let me just shoot missiles at this guy until I figure him out. No! Oh, there we go. Uh huh. Oh. I am probably going to die. Why is there spikes on the floor? Such a jerk move. Oh, come on. Oh, my God, I'm going to get my freaking butt stomped. Oh. Take that super missile. He works similarly to the way that he did in Metroid Fusion, thankfully. Or Metroid Zero Mission, thankfully. So I'm not walking into this fight completely blind. Ouch, come on. Let's take a super missile now. Is that it? Oh my god, I think it is. Thank god. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Hopefully all the fights are similar to that. But now I get the Varia suit. What the Varia suit lets me do is it lets me go into the extremely hot places that I couldn't normally go. So, all those places where I was burning up before because it was unbearably hot, I don't have to worry about it anymore. What even are you? Just bugs? Apparently. You know what I would like to see? Maybe lovely Nintendo and maybe Retro Studios could come back together to make uh, a Super Metroid release, but for the th but like in 3D, like like a Metroid Prime thing, but for um Super Metroid. I might have said Metroid Fusion. I, I feel like I did. I'd like to see a 3D. Metroid or Super Metroid just because how cool this game is as of right now you know I'm a huge fan of this game already that is disturbing ow like I'm a huge fan of this game already I love it um I'd like to see like a 3D version of this game on like the Nintendo Switch or something. I think that'd be sweet. Oh god, there are so many of you. Since there's a safe station right over here. But where? I'm like, oh, here we go. 
Oh, there we go. I probably should have saved here. I didn't even realize there was a save station. I probably would have had to walk all the all the way back if I had failed that fight with Kraid. That would not have been good. Can I save, please? Can you let me save again? Or do I have to walk out of the room and come back in? Because I accidentally hit no. Alright, cool. So we fought two fought two bosses so far, I suppose. Whatever the first one was, and then Kraid. Both I'd say were moderately difficult, honestly. Both had me kinda worried, I'd say. Hopefully that's not of things to come. I'm the kind of guy who I appreciate easier games. Whoa. I'm the kind of person who, oh, why are you on me? I'm the kind of person who appreciates easier games. I don't, is there nothing in here? It says that there is. Ah, oh, crap, I did not mean to open that with a super missile. God damn it. Apparently there's nothing in there. I don't know. Like, I'm a huge fan of games that are, like, difficult if it doesn't require that I backtrack in order to get to the location that I was previously at. Like, Metroid, you have to save at specific locations. Kind of the same for Skyward Sword, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which I was not a huge fan of that whole bullcrap, honestly. Um, so games like this, I feel like they need to make it relatively easy compared to their other titles just because of the difficulty and the fact that, or just because of the whole backtracking bullcrap. If you if you die, you have to go back from the previous save spot, which, I mean, if they were more plentiful with the save stations... Maybe I'd be okay with it. But because there's so few and far between, I'm not a huge fan of difficult bosses. But in a game like Legend of Zelda, every anything but Skyward Sword. Um, if they made the bosses difficult. I wouldn't mind, because I could always just go back into the exact same room that I was just at, and fight the boss again. You know, there's very little backtracking involved. That's why I feel like games like this should be made a little bit easier. It's because of the whole, I gotta backtrack in order to get to where I was before to fight the boss again. That kind of a thing. I'm low on missiles, holy crap. Can, sir, can you give me some missiles? No? Okay. I don't think I can test lava out with the Vario suit yet, so... I need the... Hello. Can you go away? Thank you. No, please stop. Stop hurting me. Thank you finally for the missiles. Oh, oh, oh crap.
Does that mean I just gotta quickly jump across here? Uh oh. Oh god, at 82 health, I do not have very much to spare. Especially falling in lava or getting hit by lava seahorses. Technically, would they not be called lava seahorses then if they are in lava? What would they be called? Lava horses? I am at 16 health, that is not good. I need health, please. I don't have a power bomb, so. Oh, come on. Please tell me there's like an energy station around here. A safe station doesn't necessarily help. Okay. Ow, you jerk. Come on. Health. Uh, can I get it? Yep, sweet. Okay, what is this below me? What? Why was I able to bust through here then? I don't know. Because I'm not supposed to understand that. Oh, come on. I need more health than that. A missile? I need more than just a missile expansion. It's not good enough. Okay, I guess I'm just supposed to leap across again. Go back up. It looks like there is stuff I can get down here, but like, I don't know. No platforms want to give way or something, I don't know. Oh, would you look at that? That's interesting. Okay, oh, I'm gonna save one more time. Because I'm at 6 health, and I just got a missile expansion. I really wish there was an energy station around here, but apparently that's too much to ask for. Oh, 26 energy, I'll take that. Can you drop me some health, please? Pretty please? Wherever you are. Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh, you come and gone. Oh, I kill you, but now I can't get the health because it's too high up there. Wonderful. Um, can I drop down here? Oh, that's right. It's power bomb. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to be really careful about this right here. was not worth the risk. Ugh, why right there? Oh, I'm dead. Well, I guess that was the first time I died. Do I get full health back, though? Of course I don't. Why would I ever get full health back? Makes you wonder, how in the world am I supposed to get out of here, then, if I have six health? I can see how you could just easily soft lock yourself out of here. And never be able to get through here.
Oh, how did I not break this before? Uh oh. Okay, at least you died. Is there one more? No, oh, yep, there is one more. Let's take energy from killing you. Otherwise, I'd be a dead man. Alright, there's two rooms I could go to. Let's go to this one here. Please tell me this is like an energy refill station. No, doesn't look like it. Alright, let me try this bottom one then. Also, no. I guess I'll stick with this one though. For now. Sorry about the constant beeping buzzard. Buzzer, no, buzzer, buzzer. I don't know. Whoa. All right. At least I know where I can go to get some health. Okay, we'll do maybe like another mm, fifteen minutes. I think I'm gonna call quits and I'm gonna hit the hay. I'm tired today. As you can probably tell by the sound of my voice. Super quiet and peaceful, I'm sure. But that's about it. I originally was not planning on recording anything for this um, session playthrough today. But as I was playing Team Fortress 2 earlier today, I was like, man, I'm bored. And I'm not really feeling Team Fortress 2 today. It's like, I think I'm just gonna hit the hay. And like, not hit the hay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do some Super Metroid. Record a little bit of footage for that. Some good easy health here. That definitely helps. Oh yeah, that definitely helps. Uh oh. Except for when they do that. Alright, that's all I need. Let's get, I guess let's get out of here. It's over here. What the hell are you? Whoa. I don't know what you are. I don't want to know what you are. So I'm just gonna rush past you. Cause you are annoying as shit. What are you though? Hope you don't raise very much further. Can you just stop? Or no. I'm not gonna stop? No? Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to go back through here then. And do this very quickly. Oh, Jesus. I don't think I can do you right now. If I can, I gotta run in with, like, super missiles. So, here we go. Oh, I can. Okay, perfect. Um. Oh, God. Come on. Can I just missile you, maybe? No, I got a super missile you. Okay. Ow, that kind of hurt. Now I'm on super missiles. 
probably shouldn't have used all my super missiles on enemies I probably didn't even need to really kill. Oh, how in the hell? Oh, I hate platforming. Especially when there's lava below me. Phew, okay, that was close. I got lucky there. Whoa, hello. What are you? Are you friend or foe? Apparently not very friendly. Uh, I guess I'll go through this door first. Whoa, what is this? I don't like the looks of this. What is this? I think these are like platforms, but I can't access them because they're so high up. Oh god, you again? Um, destroy all. Um, excuse me. Can I not explode you? Apparently not. Okay. Okay. Apparently there's nothing I need to do in this room. Wait, can I? No, I, I don't think I can destroy you with a missile cannon. No, I don't think I'd even be able to do it with a super missile. Not like I can use one anyway. Guess let's continue up. I hate you guys. Freaky. Okay, let's go through here. Oh, here's where we can use these platforms. Ah, oh, crap. Damn it. I'm not dealing with you right now. Don't you dare knock me off. Okay, super missile, good. Or not super missile, excuse me. Missile expansion. Okay. And of course, like most things, I need the grapple beam to get across. How am I... Am I actually expected to die right there? How, why would you even let me go right then? Just to watch me die? Oh, great. I'm going to start here, aren't I? Yep. Okay, so I guess we're going to go ahead and end this session off here, because I don't want to go and do, redo this whole thing. <sighs> so we get to listen to the annoying beeper. Anyway, um, so far, pretty high opinions of the game. Um, I think I've recorded enough footage for this, or of this, for my Metric Prime retrospective, so... I guess the good news there is that I don't have to worry about recording any more footage for that. But if you guys would be interested in me finishing this um, Super Metroid session playthrough, um, 
let me know in the comment section below or you can go to my discord which is also in the description excuse me not also in the description it is in the description if you go to the description you can find a link to my discord if you go there and you go to the suggestions page suggest that you would like to see the rest of my super metroid um super metroid session playthrough but uh so far i have pretty high opinions of the game as it stands though um it reminds me a lot of Metroid Zero Mission, and not very much about Metroid Fusion. The difficulty kind of reminds me of Metroid Fusion, but that's not the whole of it. Um, anyway, I guess we're going to go ahead and end this session off here. So if you guys enjoyed, remember to give the video a like, a like and comment. If you would like to see more of me and more of this um, session playthrough, go ahead and subscribe. And if you would like to receive notifications on whenever I upload a video, hit the bell icon. Anyway, guys, we'll talk to you later. Take care.